Okay, so now let's look at setting up your subscription members template in uh, um, for Mobiarize. Um, so first of all, the first thing we need to do is set up a database on our host. So we go into the host control panel. Now not all control panels will look the same, um, but the actual principle is, is the same in all cases. So the first thing we need to do is to create a blank database. So we go to create a blank database and we need to give the blank database a name. So we're going to call it Moby Subs. Um, whoops, missed the O out. Moby Subs. Um, now and you'll notice that the uh, host is adding a prefix to the name that we've selected. So we'll create the database. So we need to make a note of that name. Okay, the database has now been created. So now we need to add a user to that database. Um, now the other thing you need to bear in mind is that you can, if you wish, use the database that you used for the standard member system. Um, if you've got that installed on the same server, so you can use the same database because the tables inside are actually different, differently named. So we're going to give the uh, let's have a username of Moby One, um, and then we set a password for the database. Or for the user, I should say. Um, so we create the user. Okay, we've created the user. So the final thing we need to do is to add that user to the database. So we're going to add Moby1 to the database at Moby Subs. Um, so we add that to the database and we click the All Privileges and make the changes. Okay, so that's done. So now our um, database is all set up on our host and we'll need the information that we just entered shortly when we set up the database okay so step two now step two is to FTP all the required files to our host so we need to create a folder for our because we're going to um, put our member system into a subfolder of a main site if you're going to put it in your main site then you would just use the public HTML so we will create a folder called Moby subs in an FTP client here we're using FileZilla so there's our Moby subs folder which is empty so we then go to our Moby subs folder, our project folder, you'll, you'll see you've got a projects file in, in your package and then what we need to do is to copy everything from that folder into where we're going to put the, the files. So they'll, they'll upload and then once they're uploaded we will then continue with the setup. Okay so our files have now been uploaded so we now browse to where we installed or uploaded the files to and the URL is setup.php Okay, so now we need to enter our registration or setup code, and now that's the order number from when we received the confirmation of our order for the system. So we go in and we paste that in there. We'll then check with the licensing server, and a few seconds later, hopefully, we'll get a success message, and then setup will continue. Okay, so now we need to enter some 
uh, information so we enter the site URL where we've installed the system and don't forget the trailing slash on the end so that's where we've installed it now a name that we want to call system and this will appear in all emails etc uh, okay then the email the main site email then the location of the database which will normally be localhost some hosts may be different so you need you may need to check that with your host then the name we gave the database and remember our host added a prefix um, and then the user ID or the user for the database rather sorry which we called movie one and then the password for the database or the user of that we just set and then we click test connection to make sure that we're, our connection details that we've entered are correct if they're not we need to go in and change them if they are correct we'll get the success message and we'll get an extra button appear at the bottom so we now click write file and continue now we should get a file written successfully message and then we click continue and now the tables will be created automatically in the database for us and all of those should be white if any of them are red uh, which is an error message then uh, we have a problem so you need to contact uh, the Microsoft support okay so we'll click continue and that's it our system is now set up um, and is complete so we can now log in so we'll log in as admin with the default password which we can change later would help if uh, I entered the right data and now we're logged in so now we can go to the admin and we can set the, the remainder details that we need to set which is the system settings so we go to system settings and here we can set first of all whether we want to accept monthly subscriptions quarterly or annual or any combination of the three so we could switch off monthly and just have quarterly and annual or we could uh, have all three monthly annual and quarterly or we could just have monthly and annual if we wish okay so we're going to leave all three you can then change the amount of the monthly subscription so you could have uh, £2.50 for monthly you could have a different amount for quarterly say uh, £8 for a quarter Whoops. Um, and you could have say 25 pounds say for a year or whatever figures that you want there um, then uh, the email address that we want to send our emails from that will default to what we set in the original setup screen but you can change that if you wish but it must be a, a, an email address on your domain you can change the header image for email uh, header logo um, but and that must be 600 pixels wide um, you can then set the PayPal live email so that's the email for uh, when you're live um, so you would set your live um, email address in there and then the sandbox email address if you have one so you would set that in here uh, 
Um, then the currency that you wish to use, um, and that must be one of the uh, currency that's set up in your PayPal account. And your PayPal account must be a verified uh, account, uh, business, or premier. So if you wanted to accept your payments in US dollars, and the US dollars are set up in your account, then you would select USD there, uh, or Euros, or British pounds, whatever. So once we select our currency, you then set the currency symbol. And so if you're going to use a dollar or a euro or a pound or whatever the sign is for your currency that you've selected over here. Um, and you always enter that as um, the HTML code. So you would enter for pound and P-O-U-N-D semicolon. And that's now set currency code there. Okay, so then you can select the status of the system, and this will automatically change all the URLs needed for PayPal, etc., and all the necessary variables that need to be sent to PayPal. And you can either select sandbox or live. So if you've got a sandbox PayPal account, you can select sandbox and test your system before you go live. Alter uh, uh, otherwise you would uh, select live for when you're live okay and if you wish you can switch off registrations altogether so um, if you want to suspend registrations while you're designing a site or for a particular period of time you can switch off registrations and then the user will get a message to say registrations are not currently available um, on the registration page Okay, so that's all the settings done, and your system is now ready to go. Um, you can change your um, system owner details here if you wish. You can change the, the email of the system owner. Um, you can enter the website and Facebook URLs of the owner if you wish. Change the, uh, the country. You cannot switch off uh, the active status um, of the uh, admin. Because obviously if you do then you can't administer your system so that is locked so you cannot switch that off okay and that's it your system is all set up now and ready to go and start taking registrations but then you'll want to design your pages and modify your system so you'll need to, uh, need to look at video 3 which will show you how to edit your system in the MobiRise editor Okay, so see you in video three. Your dream.